Porter. Porter. Say hi. What are you drawing, Gray? A house with furniture in it. I love it. A house with furniture in it. Grayson started drawing the solar system. That's what all the circles are. Right here. And now he's drawing a house, our house, and the inside of our house, huh? I'm drawing the inside of an old house. Okay, awesome. And then we got Porter, who's driving Daddy's car. Hi. Good afternoon, you guys. It's actually been a while since I've vlogged and just not much has been gone on. But we are outside, obviously, right now. Um, Gray went to preschool this morning. It, it's L week, so he brought in a Lego. And now we're outside. Shockingly, it's November 29th. Tomorrow's the last day of November. And we are outside, which is crazy for end of November here in Ohio. It is... Um, like mid 50s today it's only today then it's gonna be freezing so we're outside as long as we can to soak up the warm weather gray as it it's been a while since we've been out because it's been raining like every day and so gray was so pumped because it washed the rain washed all the sidewalk chalk off the driveway so now gray can recreate new designs and he has been loving it and we're just getting some fresh air I put out the trash because the trash people come in the morning. But I am vlogging because we got in our Christmas tree today. So ever since college, uh, my mom actually bought me my first Christmas tree and it was a six and a half foot tree from like Target, like after Christmas day deals. It's been fine, but now that we've moved to our new house, our new house has tall ceilings in the living room, and so that tiny little tree is just not gonna work anymore. And honestly, it needs to be replaced. It was a cheap tree to begin with. It's been losing branches. I've had it for like five, six, seven, seven, eight years. It's been a long time. So it needs to go. And so I waited for Black Friday, and then I went on Amazon and they had Christmas trees on sale. So I got a nine foot Christmas tree. I'm so pumped. And it took a couple days to come in, but it finally came in this morning. So we have it in our living room right now. So I think tonight after dinner, we will play some Christmas music and put up our Christmas tree. I think this is the latest I have ever put up a Christmas tree. Usually I try to wait until after Thanksgiving and then do it like the day after or the weekend after. Um, but usually every year I can't wait that long and I end up putting it up before Thanksgiving. This year I literally could not put it up because I didn't have it. So I'm so excited. Greg keeps asking me every day when we're putting up our Christmas tree because he sees like we go to like my parents' house, my siblings' house, they have their trees up. He's got a Christmas tree up in his preschool classroom and he's like, where's our tree? So now we can finally decorate it. I've had the tubs like sitting in our living room waiting to put the Christmas ornaments on it. I have a feeling I might have to buy some more ornaments because our tree was pretty filled out for it being six and a half foot. But now that it's nine foot, I feel like it's gonna look a little bare. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm so super excited. So I'm gonna, I plan on filming. I filmed last year when we put up the tree and I kind of did like a time lapse. So I'll try and do that again and show you guys how it looks. I also wanna show you guys, we've made a lot of improvements to the house over the past couple weeks. And I feel like I need to give you guys a new like updated house tour. Um, so that's definitely on my plan. I might do that tomorrow in a sep separate vlog. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But we are just gonna hang out. It is so beautiful outside right now. I'm loving this weather. It feels like spring, weirdly enough, because um, I know it's just not going to last. But let me know, when did you all put your Christmas tree up this year? Like I said, this is probably the latest I've ever put up a Christmas tree. Um, because, you know, you put it up and then you only get it till Christmas. And then, I mean, I guess some people maybe leave it up till, they, till like New Year's. I'm one of those people where like, as soon as Christmas is done, like I want the tree done. Like once Christmas is over, I'm done with everything Christmas. Like I don't want to hear Christmas songs. I don't want to see anything Christmas. Like I'm done as soon as the day is over. So my tree doesn't usually stay up too long. So thankfully we'll have it up by the time December 1st rolls around. I was worried that it would be like 
beginning of December till we put it up. So at least it's not too long of a wait, but still a lot later than I would have liked. But anyway, I'll get inside after the sun goes down and gets dark, which it gets dark about like five o'clock every day now. <laughs> so it won't be too much longer from now. And then um, I'll show you guys putting up our Christmas tree. What, Gray? We're going to open our Christmas tree. Yep, so here we are. I've got the tree in the box. We're going to get it out. I think we're going to put it right here in front of this window. We've got our little, well, we've got a new TV. <laughs> we've got our stocking holders up here, some Christmas decorations. This was on the mantle, and now i got to figure out how I'm going to put it with the TV there. And then we got this cute little train on Black Friday that lights up. The kids think it's so cute. And my little trees, which will turn on in like 15 minutes and sparkle. But we're gonna put up the tree. We've got Christmas music playing. The boys are going to help. So we'll see how long this takes us.
you like it? Yeah, so I didn't finish recording last night. I got too tired, but the Christmas tree is done. Grayson helped me put on some of the ornaments. Porter helped hand them to me, but I mostly did all of it myself. <laughs> Anthony's a Grinch and doesn't like to set up for Christmas, but this is our new nine foot tree. And it's got ornaments and this ribbon. Uh, hindsight, I would have gotten two ribbons because one is just not enough. I know that for next year now. Um, but we got the star on top. Anthony had to help me with that because it is heavy and it was not staying up. So I just wanted to show you guys the finished project. Okay, well, what time is it? We have to leave in 20 minutes. You can play for 20 minutes downstairs. Okay, let's go play in the basement. The only thing I need to do is I need to try to see if I can put this um, garland up on the mantle without blocking the TV too much. So we'll see. Okay, well, I have to get ready. So you can go by yourself, but I have to eat breakfast. You want milk? Do you like our tree? No, we're not going to watch a show. It's time to go to preschool. That's one of my favorite things that he says. It's not preschool time. It's watch a show time. He says that to me every morning and it's hilarious. Sorry if it's a little dark. Gray turned off like all the lights in the kitchen so that he could see the tree shine. So anyway, I'm glad we got the tree up. It was... It's always an adventure when you have um, two little kids trying to help. But we got it up, and um, yeah, we're ready for Christmas. Tomorrow is December 1st. So, but anyway, I'm going to end out this vlog, and then I'm going to start a new vlog because I want to show you guys like all the updated things that we've done on the house so far. So I'll probably do like an updated tour. So stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.